it to one. Oh no. Okay. Two. Ugh. Let's see now. Three. Oh. Oh my. Yes! Oh. Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yay, what's up guys, how you doing? Here I am once more, now showing you another serious gear improvement. Yes, you hear that right, serious gear improvement. So as you can see, this is a set that I'm using with the Habermatch, a lot of access and a lot of over -maging. because I wanted to give this, you know, a lot of effort in cameras and time and everything so i'm gonna show you real quick how i made this beautiful set as long as the other characters sets as well i'm gonna show you the characteristics over here as you can see i have a lot of damage a lot of damage um i was planning to improve this one even a little more but i'm gonna do that in the future as you can see here, this is the Circur X1. I'm going to go through detail later on in the video. So if you want to see the whole combination and the whole mating process, stay with me over here. And don't forget to go and subscribe to the channel. Now, I focus on Vitality mainly on the Circur X because that's the one that's going closer. And the Fuggernaut is going with punch back damage because I wanted to make a build with strength, chance and punch back damage which is amazing, amazing. <laughs> you will see this right now. Now let's go with this ram. I actually got now three elements, strength, agility and intelligence. So as you can see here I'm using some of the rats sets and some other parts to get 10 AP, 5 MP and good damage as well. And look at this one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's absolutely amazing. I have no words to describe what I feel by watching this over and over. Now, as you can see here, most of the objects are XMH'd to damage. For that reason, I have this kind of damage over here is not like um, common for this level but well if you want to do something go big or go home and I definitely didn't want to go home now here I'm just showing you some of the sets then I'm gonna show you some combats so let's do that right away as you can see here, we are at the Coalax Mountain because I come here almost every day to do the daily quests. You know, I got like 60,000 camas with each character just by doing the quest and then other 40,000 camas with the resources I get from them. I would say more like 150,000 combining the quests and the resources. So now with the hopper match, with that exo that I got with the shield, I'm now 11 AP, 5 MP, and look at that damage. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that, mate. 300 with 3 AP. Oh my god. That's just nonsense. I mean, I love it. I love it. <laughs> look at the Ega flip 438 with 4 AP. No, man. Mm -mm. So basically, I got more than 100 HP damage with every single AP spent. That was kind of what I was focusing on. Maybe I was focusing on something less, but this is what I got. I got it so much better. Look at that, man. Look at that. 300. 700 per turn, 800 per turn, and the one that's hitting the hardest is absolutely the fogger. Now, look at that! Look at that push damage 200 points into push damage. 
Now, if you take a look at the turrets, it's oh my god, man! I just love it. I love it. <laughs> Here, I kind of want to show you the area damage because that's key. I mean, getting contribution with some AP and then some uh, power from the monsters gives me a lot of power. Look at that. It's just amazing. I could easily get a group of monsters of eight in like three minutes. Most of the damage is taken from the Hyper Mage and the Fragranaut talking about AoE damage. But the Sir Karak and Sram hit really, really hard as well. You will see that in further content because I'm working on some guides and some other um, episodes of this series. Look at that, man. Look at that. More than 400 with the AoE spell of the Egg Flip. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like this, I don't know what you like. I don't really know. So, let's go with the crafting and maging process. So, here we are. These are going to be the objects that I'm going to mage. This is the cape for the Egg Flip. I'm gonna link it right here so we can compare it. This is the cape for the Fogernaut. This is the hat for three of the four characters. Talking about Hyper Mage, Echo Flip, and Fogernaut. And this one is for this Ram. Now, this cloak is for this Ram, and I will be using the same for the Hyper Mage. So, take a look at this picture because we will see the effects after the maging process in shortly. So I started up with the AK Flips one. Here is a picture of the set that I designed for him. And I'm gonna use it to see what characteristics I need to get the best. Now I didn't really focus on MP reduction, but I got the resistances real good. As you can see here, I was just upgrading my runes because I bought a lot of them, but I forgot to evolve them. Now we are ready to continue with the process of maging this beautiful cape. I mean, if you ask me, one of the best sets from 105 to 150, I would say, is the White Rat. It's just beautiful, mate. It's just beautiful. So here, I, again, forgot to combine some runes, so I'm going to do it right now. If you didn't know how to do this, just take the rune you want to upgrade and take it to the Pac-Man over here. And then you can simply select how many you want to craft. In that way, you are now able to craft runes if you have the lowest um, power of the same one. Alright, so I'm not going to show you the whole process. I'm going to show you the results after a couple or maybe three items maged because if I show you the whole process, it's going to take a lot of time and you could get bored. So forget about it. I don't want to bore you. I want to entertain you. Now, guys, I know that I've been a little bit off from the channel. I'm really sorry about that. It's just that I've been working a lot. I got a new job and I need to, you know made my way up as best as I can and I'm doing just great so if you were wondering if Goldberg had a real life yes sir I do I have a real life I'm working right now and um, if you saw the last video of the major process you can see that I was actually a little bit like whispering or growling it's because of that it's because the place where I work at is super dusty and it's a little bit complicated but I'm finding things out don't worry trust the process <laughs> in the meantime here Tavus is kind of my escape uh, sometimes I can't really record videos because I have a wife and I live with her so it's like uh, sometimes she also wants to watch some TV 
or maybe listen to some music and it's really complicated to record the voices of the videos in the meantime she is here because it would be not fair but I'm doing the best I can do and uh, I'm not gonna promise you something but I'm gonna warranty you that I will try my best to be more active in the channel. In the meantime, <laughs> enjoy this one and don't forget to subscribe because that's the only thing that I ask you in return. Just a subscription, that's it. <laughs> so as you can see here, I was battling with the cape. It was getting a little bit difficult to mage, but don't worry, I'm a good mage myself. I was trying to get the prospecting at maximum and the damage as well because my, let's say my builds normally in this game is getting the highest amount of prospecting in that way I can drop whatever I want to drop. I really like to drop stuff so for that reason I focus on prospecting. Now many people forget about this because it's annoying but I mean... I like to mage and I don't think that maging is wasting camas but rather investing the camas. I showed you that in the previous video in which I crafted an item, maged them and got like 80,000 camas worth in just profit. <laughs> so if that's not good profit, I don't know, I don't know world, what kind of world you live in. So here I was thinking about leaving the cape just like that but I decided to go a little bit farther and for that reason you see me struggling here but don't worry I was enjoying this a lot. Now let me show you the results. Now after being like for 20 minutes made in this cape I actually got this result over here. It was not like the best but I thought that I mean that was fine because I didn't really want to waste more money because I was starting to waste money yeah 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 I know that I was missing three prospecting points I know that but give me a break give me a break please <laughs> Now I kind of want to show you what I came up with with Relka's cape, um, but you can see that it's giving more vitality than usual. That was modified then because I wanted more pushback damage. So I replaced the vitality with the pushback damage and I'm going to show you that later on. Now here I was maging one of the hats when suddenly a person asked me to craft something for the carver so I told him that it was no problem that I was gonna help him and guys remember this is a really good way to level a profession up just by going and putting yourselves on the list of the professions that's simple it's super simple look at this so I came here to Bragmar and I invited him to craft a piece of gear and it took a while for him to take the things into the shop, but eventually he did it. It was a uh, Wawabit's stuff, and it actually gave me enough experience to go to the next level. So, easy peasy. Yes, sir. So, as you will see here, this is the hat for the egg flip. Then we will get the hat of the Foggernaut. You can see that the intelligence is not perfect. This is the hat for the Hopper Mage, and this is the hat for this Ram. As well as the cape for the Hopper Mage, the cape for this Ram, and the cape for the Foggernaut. It was just missing the cape for the Echo Flip, and here you have it. Now you can compare it. Take a look at that. That's just precious, right? It is just precious. <laughs> Now here I was attempting to mage the boots and the belts and I came up with the idea of getting some extra heals for the Echo Flip 
instead of damage, vitality, or power. So I quickly went to the Pac-Man and I crafted the Transcendence Runes of Heals. This is basically a rune that will give you an exo with 100% of chance, but it will be something that will mess with your item forever. So it you can't mage it anymore. But I didn't really care because I didn't want to mage it again. It was just perfect. So as you can see, I'm going to show you again the pieces of gear that I maged. This is the belt for the echo flip with those heels. These are the boots for the echo flips with 18 chains over maged. This is the belt for the Fuggernaut. As you can see, I used the Transcendence Rune of pushback damage. I did the same on the boots after this video. And with the boots of the Hopper Mage, I did the same, but with damage. Here is the belt of the Fuggernaut, and these are the boots of the SRAM as well as the belt, right? Oh my god, I have no words. I just love this. I just love it. <laughs> Do you love it? Comment it. <laughs> now here I was going through the process of maging the rings and amulets and I wanted to give intelligence to this ring because it already provides damage. I'm going to show you all the set over here. So this ring is actually for the SRAM, as far as I know. This ring is for the SRAM as well, and this is her amulet. All of them are maged to damage, except for the ring that, as I mentioned before, it already had damage on it. This one goes to the Echo Flip, for that reason it's oh, Exo Mage, sorry, to chance. This is the amulet that I used with Vitality, and this is the ring. Again, using 50 points into Vitality with an Overmaged. Now, let's go with the rest of the set. This one was for the Hopper Mage. This is one of the rings. This is the second ring. It's also for the Hopper Mage. As you can see, I'm struggling with this, but I eventually made it up. Then this is going to be his amulet, exhumaged with air damage using the transcendence runes. This is the Fuggernaut's amulet. This is the Fuggernaut's ring number one. And then, oh my god, this is difficult. <laughs> then we will get the Fuggernaut's ring, the secondary ring. It's over here with pushback damage. Look at that. All the pieces maged to push back damage. <laughs> then over here I was maging the Hopper Mage's bow. This provides an AP, some damage, some intelligence, and some chance. Which is amazing. I mean, I love this one. So after it was almost perfect, or well, let's say perfect, I just went and took a rune of Haunting because I needed to make this weapon a haunting weapon. I was actually trying to get some a sink into the object and I forgot that I was using a transcendence rune. So anyways, look at this one. And just to let you know, if you use haunting weapon rune and the transcendence rune is I think the only way to get two X's with the transcendence runes in an object. So. This is the bow. Do you like it? Now more bows. Now time for this ram's bow. This one was already a hunting weapon, so it was not something necessary to XMH, which is great. Then after I got the characteristics I really wanted, I crafted the fire damage transcendence rune and I just applied it to it making it just more beautiful than it was. Look at that. I, oh my god. Yeah. Then I was maging the Echo Flips Wend, which is the one that gives you AP, MP, range, and so on. The first attempt to get it perfect did not work. 
as you can see I was doing the calculations for vitality and I completely forgot that I needed to make it a hunting weapon the second attempt failed as well and well I was doing the third one when I finally remembered that I was needing to get it with a hunting weapon rune so I did exactly that but it didn't enter it didn't enter again and it finally entered but with 45 vitality so that was it 45 vitality and hunting weapon now take a look at that one it's not my perfect I'm not even gonna lie but I liked it so that's it I'm gonna show you now the weapons over here to make a comparison like the previous parts of the set as you can see this is the limbo wind for the egg flip this is the bow leewood for the hopper match this is the young wild bow for the isram now we can't forget about the foggernaut so this is the weapon that i'm using for her so after making it real good all the way up the results i wanted i just decided to go up for more pushback damage look at this one hunting weapon most of it perfect and then boom pushback damage if you want to take a look at it here you have it oh love it baby so now the moment of the truth yes sir we're doing it i'm attempting to make my first xmh to ap in this server now i just want to let you know that i already did a couple of x's i mean by a couple i say a lot in previous runs it's just that i didn't record them because i was not doing youtube by that time so as you see here i did four attempts and i want to go a little bit further i thought that spending two million camas on this one would be acceptable but before doing that I just wanted to make sure that I was not wasting my money so I just bought like 10 and try 10 more times and so on and so forth now if you want to know exactly how this works it's basically you level up your profession all the way up the level of the shield talking about the artificer one which is the craft magus and you will rely on the orbs why well basically because the orbs is the cheapest way to get all the stats of a object to decent amount because if you go and buy all the runes that the object provides it's gonna take you a lot of camas a lot of camas so I don't recommend that it's not worth it so now we are doing 14 attempts and now I said you know what I'm gonna do 20 more 20 more would be a total of 34 which is really close to 1.2 million canas but I was starting to worry because I didn't have much I mean many canas right now so I said let's take a look at the marketplace and see if the shield is a little bit cheaper but I found that the AP1 is actually 3.1 millions so it motivated me to go and continue making it myself as you can see here now I was doing more attempts this is the number 18 I think yeah 18 now we go for the 19th it didn't work let's go now for the 20th it didn't work 21 <laughs> 22 no 24 maybe oh my god 24 yeah so yeah it took me 24 attempts to get this beauty i just love it look at that three percent of spell damage and 14 power now the power could have been better but i didn't worry about that i mean one point is acceptable so now here is the foggernauts set if you want to take a look at it <laughs> then we go with the echo flip one really beautiful right then we go with this ram and finally with our hopper match 
So that was the end of the video. Tell me if you liked it and don't forget to go and subscribe. Goodbye guys.